Hello darlings! In this week's video I thought it would be fun to go back in time and look at my style evolution from where I started to where I am now. I've had this video topic on my list of to-do videos for a while, so yes, it's about time I made it. Um, it'll be a little bit of a laugh and very cringy for me. So let's dive right in and let's look at the first picture. So this picture here, I must be 15 and really the only way to put it was I didn't have any style. I didn't actually care about fashion. It wasn't a huge deal to me. And my sister, who's in the middle in the photo, um, she was the fashionista of the family. She was really trendy and keeping up with, you know, what was fashionable. Yeah, my sister was always telling me off saying, what are you wearing? It looks terrible. Denim jacket and like hippie loose pants. Really cool. What can I say? This next photo here is when I first got my car and I was wearing like an off the shoulder white gypsy top and I thought that was really cool. And I actually had very long hair for a really long time. Um, and it's only been in the last year or couple of years that I've gone for the more for the shorter cut because it just suits vintage styles a lot better. And I have to say, I much, much prefer shorter hair. I think it suits me a lot better than really long because I am short. I am like 5'1". So long hair just makes me look even shorter. <laughs> okay, so the next photo here, <laughs> this is gold. <laughs> I was on a camping trip with my dad. I was probably 16, maybe 17 and I mean, what can I say? You know what, I'm probably in pajamas. Like, track pants and a long sleeve top, which is totally normal for pajamas. But, but this is the thing. Zoom in a little more. And I'm wearing socks and thongs, or flip-flops as Americans call them. But yes, what a trend. Yuck. I would never do that now. <laughs> in Australia, after you finish year 12, so when you graduate, you do a thing called schoolies, which is where you all like celebrate and usually people go out drinking. And I wasn't into that sort of scene, so I wanted to do something else, so we went traveling. And I don't know what other way to describe it as it's a hippie top. I'm wearing a hippie top and hippie skirt. And I had my really long hair, I didn't wear any makeup, and I had really bad skin as well. You probably can't see it in this picture. Um, and I was wearing Birkenstocks, so sandals. I wouldn't wear that now. Oh, this is gold. Okay. Um, oh, gosh. Okay, I'm at the <laughs> I'm at the water wheel, probably feeding the fish or something. I was definitely like 18 there. Um, and I've got a scarf on and a white t-shirt and like low jeans because that was still kind of the trend. Or maybe I actually probably wasn't the trend. I didn't follow trends. I was probably wearing mum's jeans <laughs> because mum always wore low rise jeans that were flares and I thought that was really cool so I wore that too and like I didn't do anything to my hair I never did anything to my hair I always wore it in a ponytail God. not very nice I didn't dress very lovely I did not care about fashion okay next photo um, and I have to say here I do really like my hair I think it's really nice and curly that was probably the one time I curled my hair um, I just never did anything with it I'm wearing like a weird like a poncho wrap around um, that was so impractical because as soon as you went to do something it just fell down and you had to it just kept falling off and you had to keep wrapping it around and then it just kept falling off whenever you went to do something so yeah not very practical Sage but and I was wearing you know the same cut of jeans low jeans low and baggy jeans okay so this photo here is I've definitely graduated I'm 18 or 19 and I was having a gap year before I went off to study so I was doing babysitting during this time and so I'm taking care of a little baby here I think her name is Edie and I'm wearing I remember thinking this was really cool and my sister actually got these jeans for me they were Levi's so nice high high-waisted jeans um, they were actually too long for me, so I had to fold them a couple of times on the bottom. But they're like the 80s mom jeans that were starting to become really popular. So, you know, I was keeping up with the trends there and my hair pulled back. Also, I don't think my hair pulled back suits me. I don't wear my hair like that anymore because I look back on photos like that and I realized that it didn't suit my face shape. I have a, a widow's peak, so, you know, my hairline is not even all the way around, so I don't think it suits me having it all pulled back because I kind of look a little bit bald. <laughs> so 
So I just, I choose different ways to style my hair that suit me better than, you know, high ponytails and stuff like that. Next photo. Oh, okay. This is when James and I moved to Melbourne. So I was starting to become really trendy and um, we were in a shop and we both tried on denim jackets and we thought we looked so cool. Um, I was in double denim and James had his denim jacket with the fluffy color. It was pretty cool, but but yeah, still, my hair is really, really long and I don't know, I don't think it suits me. I think I look a little bit like a drowned rat. <laughs> okay, this is another photo where I thought I was looking super cool. I picked up this coat. I've always been an op shopper. I always go to thrift stores and I've done that like my whole life. And here I remember getting this coat for $10, I think. And I thought it was so cool. I thought it made me look really rich or something. <laughs> Um, so wearing this, I was like, oh, I definitely look like a million bucks, you know? <laughs> so that was funny. I didn't really, but I thought I did. I came back from Melbourne to see my family and yeah, I was in an in-between phase where I was kind of going from my hippie phase to kind of trying to keep up with the trends. And then also I was liking Japanese fashion as well. So like Lolita style. So these shoes that I have on there were Korean or maybe Japanese. This is when my mum came to visit in Melbourne and we went to Brighton. So with all the bathing boxes there. And I think I was maybe starting to get into a vintage style here, but that it doesn't look vintage what I'm wearing. It's very casual. I hadn't fully converted my wardrobe to a vintage style, but I was kind of a little bit interested. So I had a bow in my hair. Um, my sad attempt <laughs> for vintage style. So I had a bow in my hair and just a normal top and jeans, nothing exciting. This photo here, I definitely am trying to have that vintage style. I, rem I remember picking up this dress from an op shop, again, for maybe 15 or $20. So it was a little bit more expensive, but I thought it was totally worth it. I loved this dress. Um, it was just like a navy blue um, and it buttoned up at the front and it had a light blue collar and a full skirt and you know it was sleeveless so looking back on it now I could have done a better job like I could have maybe done something to the dress or picked out something else but I thought it was so cool when I got it and um, it was one of my favorite dresses so I'm just wearing runners with that I think I was trying to go for the 50 style so like white runners and then you'd wear the bobby socks or something this photo here I created my own pillow rollers so you may have heard of pillow rollers I think you can buy them on Amazon they're meant to be soft so you can sleep in them. And then they have a little bit of wire that you cross over to keep your curls in place. And so, you know, I didn't have the money for that. So I made my own and I just made little tubes and stuffed them with pillow stuffing and then sewed them up and then you just tied them. But I remember thinking it would be really comfy to sleep in, but it was they were like this much off my head. So it was a nightmare to sleep in them. But I think they gave me soft curls, not not very pronounced curls like this, but it did the job. And I was just wearing regular pajamas, nothing fancy. Yeah, so this photo here, I remember doing my hair that day and thinking like my hair looks really nice. And I did like these little curls at the front <laughs> and I must have curled the rest of my hair, but because my hair was so long, it wasn't curling very well. And I was probably using those stupid pillow rollers that I made. Um, I don't think I look very nice looking back at that. But then I thought I looked so cool. So this hideous photo, um, I was in the vintage stage and I remember this must have been very, very early on. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's terrible. I just, I created a little turban that I made and then I just tied it at the front and then just had a floppy bun at the back. Like, I don't know what hairstyle I was trying to do, but it looked terrible. Um, and the skirt I actually made, this was probably the first piece of clothing that I made, you know, not in school. And it was actually a dress that I'd bought for a really cheap price. And then I took off the top, the top of the dress, and then I put a waistband on it and made it into a skirt. And I actually still have the skirt, it's in my wardrobe, but I don't wear it because it's terrible, I did, I did a terrible job making that skirt. But at the time I was really impressed. I thought it was awesome. 
and you know I was wearing I was color coordinating I was wearing pink pink and pink so and my gladiator sandals can we just take a moment for those because I think they were in trend around what year what year is this maybe 2018 I don't know whether they were in they were happening in 2018 but I thought they were <laughs> I thought they were all the rage um, and I loved those to death. I actually wore them until the soles fell off. <laughs> Fun fact. And this photo here, I think I was having a lazy day and I just, you know, put my hair in a bun and I was still wearing my retro dress and my runners. I actually had a lot of trouble at the beginning when I first started to dabble in vintage style um, at finding shoes. I found that really, really difficult. So yeah, for the most part, I would just wear runners or something that could would have maybe been worn but they're not really i just kind of tried to worry about the clothing first the hair and then i just kind of never really got to the shoes until much later on and then this photo here is obviously christmas time because the christmas tree is there and i looked like i didn't do anything to my hair i remember loving this dress i still have it and i still love it it's really really nice and comfy and it was I, if you haven't heard about this dress, it was in the 70s that this was being made and they're not made anymore So they're kind of like a collector's item and the next photo here We were on our family holiday to New Zealand and I had these wool trousers on and a shirt that I picked up at the op shop um, And I still have that and it's actually a really nice shirt Yeah, so the trousers I got were actually vintage and I picked them up from an op shop because of course I did, but unfortunately they don't fit me anymore. And this photo here is from New Zealand. And I remember being really, really happy with my outfit that I wore that day. I still think it is really cute. Um, it is a white dress that I picked up from an op shop and it kind of reminded me of a nurse's uniform. And I put on a little blue headscarf that I made myself um, to protect my hair from the wind. And yeah, I just remember feeling really cute. I came back from Melbourne to see my family and yeah, I was in an in-between phase where I was kind of going from my hippie phase to kind of trying to keep up with the trends and then also I was liking Japanese fashion as well, so like Lolita style. So these shoes that I have on there were Korean or maybe Japanese. This is a video and a couple of photos from my 21st birthday and I remember Loving my outfit, I picked up my dress. Wanna guess where I picked it up from? The op shop. And James has really long hair in this video and also a beard. You've all definitely seen James with a beard because there's a couple of videos where he has a beard and he now is rocking the moustache. This was a one Christmas I wore the same dress and I made a little holly accessory for my hair and I was very impressed with my hair because you know this is only the beginning of me curling my hair and I was getting a nice result. I tried out a half poodle for the first time so you've got all of your hair down and the front section of your hair up um, in a little a little bit of curls at the front of your hair and I remember seeing all of the ladies from the 1940s in all of the images and they looked so cool with that hairstyle so I wanted to try and replicate that and I remember feeling really unsure of myself. I did this hairstyle and I was like, oh, kind of feels weird. Like it looks a little bit cool, but no way in the world am I going out with this hairstyle. So I didn't, I just put it up and then took it down. And then I went to uni or whatever that day. And then this photo here, I still have long hair and I was kind of getting a little bit more familiar with the vintage style. At this point, I was buying things for really reasonable prices from op shops and I'd managed to form a collection for not much money at all. And then I'd taken out all of my old clothes, my hippie clothes and whatnot, and um, given that to the op shop. So I only had what I picked up from the op shop that was in a vintage retro style. So that was kind of how I transitioned. Yeah, don't think you're just gonna wake up in the morning and you're gonna have all of the clothes and you're gonna look a million bucks because it takes time. I mean, I'm not saying I look a million bucks, but yeah, it just takes time to have the look that you envision. You'll start off looking a little bit all over the place and then you'll look how you want to look and you'll look like all of those glamorous Hollywood stars. 
eventually. So this photo here, I went to my best friend's 21st birthday and I remember feeling so awesome and it was a 1920s theme. So I had on my 20s dress that I picked up from Amazon, I think. So it was gray and it had like a black um, waist on it and a little bow tie at the front. And I had black stockings on and my, my 1920s heels and then a first doll that I picked up from the op shop for I think $30. So that was such a score because first dolls now, if you try and find them in a vintage place, are like $200 or more. And for people that are concerned about fur, I would never, never buy fur that is sold today. This photo, I feel like I was really getting into my vintage style here and I am wearing a cute pair of shorts and a blue top that I still have now and a little yellow scarf. So I was kind of going for more of a 30 style, I think there. And I dressed up my sister, I did her hair nice and everything. So we felt really cute that day. So this photo here is when James and our best friend Tim, we went to our second ball. So this was for, this was for swing dancing. And this dress that I'm wearing here is the same blue dress that I first got when I started wearing vintage and I made some sleeves for it and a little bow tie. So I was kind of trying to replicate, you know, a Mrs. Maisel dress. I remember feeling very happy and proud that I'd made that and I feel like it really added to the dress. This photo here is just a really simple outfit. I remember altering this skirt. It was a maxi skirt and so I altered it so it just hit below my knee and I just wore a white long sleeve top with it and I tied a little blue scarf around my neck and my hair in a ponytail and it might have been a little bit curled. I remember it was really daunting wearing red lipstick for the first time but once I started on it, there was no way that I wasn't going to wear it. It felt like I was naked without it. So um, it's very much a part of who I am now wearing red lipstick. This photo here, I thought my hair looked really nice at the time and I thought, oh, I'm doing like something new and something different with my hair. But it was kind of a little bit weird. I look like I have a mohawk on one side of my head. And these shoes that I'm wearing, oh my gosh. Um, they were really clunky shoes and they were the only things I had that maybe looked a bit vintage because they had heels on them. So they were like boots that I just picked up from Target and like my little legs in these big baggy high heeled boots. It's just really funny. Um, so I pretty much wore those with every single outfit because I didn't have any other vintage shoes. Um, which is just hilarious. And then pretty much this was a couple of weeks ago, this photo. And yeah, I'm, I actually, oh, I'm wearing the exact same outfit. Like, I'm wearing the same outfit. <laughs> so I still buy stuff from the op shop. I have so much fun doing that. So where I am now, I'm really comfy with my vintage style and it's just fun. And doing your hair, you know, whenever you feel like it, it doesn't have to be every day. This photo here is also recently. So I'm wearing some 1950s reproduction pants that I absolutely love. They're so nice. They really cinch in your waist. So this is what I look like now. <laughs> um, no, this is Shelley Temple. That's not actually me. I wish. Another photo, um, this is, I did kind of like a 1930s style. I have on my pencil skirt, my reproduction 1930s shoes, pretty blouse and a little headscarf. I might throw up a couple of extra pictures so you guys can see. I'm really happy with where I am with vintage style at the moment. It's so cringy looking back on before I was wearing vintage, even at the beginning of when I was wearing vintage, it was like, oh yeah, I just really thought what I was wearing was so cool. But in fact, it was really, really cringy. I actually was trying to find some photos when I was in year seven. So when I was 13, because that was hilarious. I was going through my twilight phase and you know, I was really, really serious, like in all of my photos. And I didn't want to get my photo taken because Bella Swan didn't like getting her photo taken. So, you know, I was really, really embracing the Bella Swan character and really living the sad, melancholic life. <laughs> that was really funny that stage, but sadly I can't find any photos. That was a point where when we went to school, we would like put glitter on ourselves so that when we'd go in the sun, we would sparkle and we thought we were vampires.
Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too boring. Um, I had a lot of fun looking back on photos. It's nice looking back on memories and seeing how you dress and how you've progressed in your style. Let me know in the comments, do you dress vintage or are you just a regular fashion type person or thinking about dressing vintage? Let me know. But thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye. What happened to the camera? What is happening up there? Oh my gosh, why do I lose my vocabulary when I speak? What is wrong with Ah, Melbourne, because I was trying to fit my big fat feet in the tiny little shoes. <laughs> this is kind of getting boring now. We're out of hideous looking sage.